For this, we want to figure out how to calculate gross domestic product using the expenditure approach. And hopefully, we know that the expenditure approach says GDP equals C plus I plus G plus X minus M. Now, let's figure out what these are. The C is consumption, or as the government calls it, personal consumption expenditures. If you see it in the news, you might see it as PCE but we're going to call that just consumption. So this is the consumption component using the expenditure approach. The next one, I, is investment. Now investment, as far as GDP is concerned, is not financial investment. Investment here is going to be firms buying um, capital, it's going to be us buying new homes, and it's going to be additions to inventories. But So the I here is going to be gross private domestic investment. That's our I component. Now the G is the government expenditures, okay, so government expenditures on goods and services, this is our G component, okay, X, I know it doesn't start with X, but that does stand for exports, so exports is the X factor, and then M is our imports, okay, so that's our M factor, okay, so again, let's review this, GDP is C plus I plus G plus X, and the only negative one here is M. So we're going to add consumption, investment, government, exports, and then we're going to subtract out imports. Okay, so we're going to have the C, which is 4,000. We're going to add to that 1,000 for the investment. We're going to add the G of 2,000. We're going to add the 600 for the exports, but then we're going to subtract the 900, which is the imports. Okay, so if we add 4,000 plus 1,000 plus 2,000 plus 600, and then we subtract out M, which is 900, that should turn out to be 6,700. But we see that there's a little bit more information in here. We've got indirect business taxes and depreciation. Now, we use those to calculate other things, but for GDP, those aren't important. Okay, so we don't use these in calculating GDP. Well, then you're probably thinking, well, why are they on there? Well, on the test, that's probably how you're going to see. You're going to see some other information that we don't need, and that's trying to make sure you understand what's actually involved. So make sure you know it's C plus I plus G plus X minus M. Some stuff on there you aren't going to use. Okay, make sure you subtract out M. Don't add that one in.